Hi, this is a walkthrough for adding alias relationships to a DDP. A reason for adding alias relationships to your DDP is if basic relationships and filtered relationships don't satisfy your requirements. As an example, for this account record we have a calls related object with several call records, each containing a unique call type. Let's say we wanted to bring in each call type into its own table. Well, a basic relationship won't satisfy this requirement because we're not filtering any of the data. So our field tags will bring in all the information for all call types. And a filtered relationship won't satisfy our requirements because they're coming from the same object. Therefore, they'll have the same field tags and bring in all the same information. What we need to do is add aliases to filtered relationships to bring in each call type into its own table. So to do so, we must first navigate to the DDPs tab, select the appropriate DDP, and then begin adding relationships in the relationship object. First, we must establish the relationship between the call object and the account object. So in the first dropdown, we're going to select the related object, which is calls. And then in the second dropdown, we're going to select the main object, which is account. In the third dropdown, we're going to ignore it because it's not an ambiguous relationship and skip over to the alias field. Now this alias will depend on the filter criteria, so I'm going to go ahead and call this sales calls and then add my filter criteria for sales. So we're going to filter call type by value of sales. Now we can choose to order the filtered relationship. and if we want to delete the table if there's no records and then choose a copy type of row. Now this is a good example of an alias relationship. I'm going to save this relationship and then once it's saved I'm going to navigate back to it and because this is a good template for my other two relationships I'm just going to clone it. So now I want to set up an alias relationship for my review calls. I'm going to change my alias from sales calls to review calls and then change my filter criteria from call type equals sales to call type equals review. I'm going to hit save and then begin the process for creating the support alias relationship. So I'm going to go ahead and clone this relationship and change review to support and then the filter criteria I'm going to change from call type equals review to call type equals support. Now that I've saved all three alias relationships I can navigate back to the DDP, scroll down to the relationships object and review my relationships. There are in fact three with three aliases one for sales calls, review calls, and support calls. So now that my relationships are established, I can begin tagging my document. So the first thing I need to do is open up the field tagger, choose which document type I'm using, in this case Word, through the pages editor, and the main object is call. And now that I've selected call, I can see a new drop down containing my aliases. So all three aliases are available. I'm going to begin with sales calls. And if you notice, the field tags were changed from calls underscore the field name to sales calls underscore the field name. The alias was included in the beginning of the field tag. This is how our service is able to differentiate one alias relationship from the other. So to begin I'm going to go ahead and grab the replicate row tag and begin placing the tags into my document.
So now that I've had my sales calls table set up, I'm going to move on to the next related object. In this case, review calls. So now that my alias tags have changed, I can go ahead and start tagging up the review table, starting with the replicate row tag. Then moving on to the name tag. Then call type. And finally, call duration. Now that my re review calls alias is set up, I can move on to the final alias, support calls. So on my field tagger, I must switch aliases from review to support. Now that I've seen that the field tag has changed, I can go ahead and grab the replicate row tag and begin copying my tags into the document. So now I have my entire document set up and tagged. I can save it to my desktop. Close the editor. Close the field tagger and add the document to my DDP. Now the DDP is set up. So when I navigate back to the account record and choose loop plus, satisfy all the required steps for the DDP Visual Force page and hit run, I'll now be returned a document with three tables, each bringing in a unique filtered relationship with an alias that has call records from specific call types. So if I open the PDF, I can see that each table brought in the correct filtered relationship. And that is how you add aliased relationships to a DDP. Thank you.